Hey, what's up y'all, Into the Marsh here. This is gonna be a video on how to chain link or gang rig your diver decoys together. All right, so what we have here is two dozen diver decoys. All right, some redheads um, and then some bluebills. And these are all gang rigged together. These are not drop rigs, okay? They're rigged together in a system where you cannot take them apart um, unless you actually cut this line. Uh, but it's also a lot easier to deploy and pick up your decoys. Um, but I would not suggest doing this if you are planning on hunting with a dog. The whole reason why people run drop rigs is so that a line drops off from the decoy down to a rope so the dog has enough room to swim in between the decoys. With this, a dog is gonna get tangled on these lines, okay? So just a little FYI there. All right, so what you're gonna need for this is 400 pound monofilament line. All right, I just picked this up off Amazon. This is from the company Spirit. Um, 300 feet of it, it was like 20 bucks. Then you're gonna need some line clamps, okay? This is catch-all, tackle, 2.3 millimeter. All right, that's really important. 2.3 millimeter for the 400 pound uh, monofilament line, okay? You could also use like a tangle-free type line or any type of line that doesn't have uh, a lot of memory in it, okay? And then just some crimps. I got these from Harbor Freight for like eight bucks. There's electrical crimps. All right. So what you're gonna do here is this is just the middle of the chain link, but just to give you a quick idea how it's done, this is the 400 pound mono line. It's going to a hole in the back of the decoy, wrapped around through the hole, then back through the crimp, and then just crimp it on there. Now once again, you cannot take these decoys apart, okay? They're like this. Once you crimp it on there, it's crimped there, then you're gonna have to cut it if you want to do something else with your decoys. All right, these are chain linked or gang rigged together in sets of 12. All right, there's, <coughs> excuse me, there's a total of two dozen decoys here, but I broke them up into two sets of 12, um, just in case we don't want to run all 24 off one line and just don't want one huge long line. Now we can run two sets of 12, uh, on separate anchors if we want to. Okay. So, once again, these are all hooked up the same way. They're chain linked together. All right, it's not gonna come apart. It's solid, all right? You don't have to worry about this tangling. Even if this does tangle around the decoy a little bit, okay, it's super easy to get off and, and uh, get undone. That's why I'm not using rope or paracord or something like that. Um, otherwise, if, if you use a small little type of decoy line, it's gonna get tangled on there. It's gonna really piss you off once you go to put all these <clears throat> in your bag, okay? So we have one set of 12 here. Once again, all chain linked together. Same thing. Now, for the end decoy. For this end decoy, all I did was wrap around and make a loop out of the monofilament line, okay? Now, on the end decoy of the first set of 12, I did the same thing, but right here, I've got a clip, okay? This is so either A, sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed here. A, you can clip these together, okay? Now I can run 24 decoys in a line together. There's 12 coming around. There's your clip. Here's the next 12. Okay, and we can run one long stringer of 24 decoys together. Or I can take this off. I can set it there. And I can just let that sink in the water. It doesn't matter. Okay. Or I can also use this as an anchor attachment point and I can run an anchor from right here. All right. So now we're gonna go up here and this is where it's gonna get a little bit tricky, but not too bad. Okay. This is gonna be your lead bird. This is the lead bird right here. 
all right it's hooked up just like all the other ones there's another clamp right here okay this one has a clamp so once again you would clamp another 12 decoys onto it or you can clamp an anchor to it okay this is my anchor point right here this is just a clevis that i that i found at the goodwill it was super cheap and it's heavy so it'll work and all this is is this is 550 paracord wrapped around it okay with about uh probably 30 feet of line okay might not use all that maybe will. all right so right here all you got to do is put that on your paracord this you obviously unroll this from your anchor all right unroll it from your anchor pretend that this is all the way out 20 feet or however however deep it is where you're hunting and then you're just gonna throw this out into the water okay it's connected to the anchor right here you're gonna throw that out in the water and that's gonna anchor all your decoys you can use whatever kind of anchor you want you can use a boat anchor you can fill up a coffee can and use the handle of it or, or fill up coffee can with a uh, concrete and make a little handle on it whatever you want to do it doesn't matter use whatever kind of anchor you want all right now the tricky part of this sort of system is putting these in the bag all right so like i was saying guys the most important part of this <clears throat> is how you put these decoys <clears throat> in your bag now you can use whatever kind of bag you guys have laying around. Um, this is a pop-up decoy bag. Um, so it just is kind of springy um, and it's easy uh, if you have it on your boat. <clears throat> I wouldn't suggest using this in the field, but I guess you could if you wanted to. If you have a 12 slot bag, that's nice too. Um, but for us, we don't really care about keeping our diver decoys too nice <clears throat> because as we all know, divers are, are pretty stupid. So, the important part here is <clears throat> whatever your anchor system is, wherever your line is, you want to put that in first, okay? Put that in first. This is going to be opposite of how you deploy them, okay? So, put this in first or put it in your boat or put it in another bag, wherever. It's just easiest if we put it in here because we know it's going to be at the bottom of our bag. Okay, so we're going to put that in, okay? Then we're gonna grab our first decoy. It's right here. <clears throat> and we're basically just gonna start putting these in here in kind of a circle if we can. Just so that they don't get too tangled up. That way, when you go to deploy these, it makes it a lot easier. So just put these in the bag, in kind of a circular motion. Once again, if you have a 12 slot decoy bag, it makes it even easier. Um, one other thing I forgot to mention, the length of this line between here, I used about a 28 inch piece. Uh, you can use as big of a piece as you want. Um, you, some people like their decoys three, four, five feet apart. We like ours a little closer, okay? From the butt of this decoy to the nose of it, it's probably about a little over a foot and a half, two feet. It's not the full 28 inches because you have to account for the part that wraps around and that you crimp on there. Anyways, just keep doing the same thing, just like so. And this is just so that they don't get too tangled when you go to deploy them. Okay, we're at our 12th decoy. Okay, this is another reason why I put this little clamp here um, on this 12th decoy. So that if you only want to bring 12 decoys out, now you can just bring these 12 out. Okay, once again, this just gives you more versatility. And this is where you would hook either another anchor if you want to run dual anchors, or this is where you're going to hook up your next 12 decoys. All right, let me grab the other 12 real quick. Okay, 
now when I put these in here, I'm actually going to clamp this on um, just so we don't get confused. last few push right there. Okay, so when you go to deploy these from the boat, which I'm going to make a video of us doing that, this is going to be your, your lead decoy that you're deploying from the boat. Right here. This one right here. Okay, so let's pretend this bag is in the back of our boat. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have the driver uh, just slowly, slowly drive the boat just so that when I start to deploy these, um, they have uh, a little bit of movement to get them flowing um, away from the boat and away from us. So basically deploying them is just gonna be the same thing, it's just gonna be opposite. So all I'm gonna do is start taking these out of the bag, they're going into the water now, I'm throwing them off the boat into the water. Okay, now look here, it's getting a little bit tangled, right? Not a big deal. Because once again, we're using that tangle free line, deploying it off the boat, deploying it, deploying it, throwing them in the water, boom. Once again, these are not going to get too tangled because we're not using, we're not using decoy line. Uh, we're using a, a line that doesn't retain memory very well, like a tangle free or monofilament, a heavy, heavy monofilament line. Um, okay, so. You're gonna deploy all those. Once again, you're gonna get down to your last bird. It's gonna have that little clamp on it. You're gonna hook up your anchor to the paracord, and then you're gonna to toss your anchor out uh, into the water. It's gonna set all your decoys into place. Super easy. Um, this way, you're not taking those long line clamps, clamps and, and unrolling them from your decoy clamp them on your cord, wasting all that time. Uh, once again, this type of system, you know, it's kind of set in stone. So once you rig it, that's how it's going to be. But if you want to be able to put out four dozen, six dozen diver decoys, which we all know that divers are always in big numbers, or unless you want to buy a decoy raft, um, this is a very quick and easy way to do. It's easy to pull them back in and it's easy to deploy them. You can get uh, four to eight dozen decoys out in, in 10 minutes or less, you know. All right, well, I hope that this video uh, helped you all a little bit. Um, if you guys have any questions or want to know anything else, uh, just let me know. Uh, I'm going to start making a lot more videos because uh, I know when I first started hunting, I really had no idea what I was doing. So just trying to save you all some time and and help you out. Once again, this is more of a system for for a boat and not hunting with a dog. Um, you could use this on a beach or something like that, but this is more of a system for a boat. All right, well, thank you all for watching. Um, more videos to come. Later.